I just got back from watching Dragon Ball Z Resurrection of F a few minutes ago, and while the movie is still fresh in my mind, I figured I may as well make my official review for it right now. So this is the best Dragon Ball Z movie of all time, at least as of now, and the reason I say that is because Dragon Ball Z is only getting better and better with time. Something I feel like I need to bring up is the amount of people that were actually there watching Dragon Ball Z Resurrection of F at the cinema. We had kids, we had teenagers, we had adults. It was insane. And it really made me respect the Dragon Ball Z community even more. Because to be honest, Dragon Ball Z was going up against the likes of the Fantastic Four, Ant-Man, all these blockbuster movies, yet Dragon Ball Z was the most packed out of them all. But as for the movie itself, it was 99% positive. There was one simple line that threw me off. It's where Frieza says if he trained for 4 months straight, he would be able to gain a power level of 1.3 million. And listening to Frieza say that just made me cringe. Everyone else in the movie was thinking, wow, that's amazing, and I'm sitting here thinking, Frieza was over a million in his second form back on Namek, so does that mean a Super Saiyan God's power level is 1.3 million? Honestly, I don't think that is the case at all. I'm thinking that this is most likely a dub mistake, and Geekdom, if you're watching, let everybody know. But that is the only thing I dislike about this movie. Everything else is what you would expect. It's Dragon Ball Z. However, I would have loved to have seen what would have happened if Majin Buu was there, or Trunks, Goten. What would have happened if Jaco ate the Sensu Bean? They could have taken Dragon Ball Z in any direction, but I do love the direction that they are going in. What this entire movie felt like for me was a training session for Goku and Vegeta. Frieza never really felt like a main threat to the Earth. In fact, Beerus and Whis were there, and if anything got out of hand, they easily could have stepped in. So as much as Frieza was screaming about how he wanted revenge, it was never really going to happen. But at the end of the movie, when the credits started rolling, I immediately thought back to Dragon Ball Super. I don't know how long Dragon Ball Super is going to go on for, but if we get stuff like this in Dragon Ball Super within the next, I'm expecting the Frieza arc to maybe be in three months, maybe 12 episodes, maybe more, maybe less, I don't know, but if we get stuff like that in Dragon Ball Super, it is going to be so good. Guys, I can't stress it enough, Dragon Ball Z is back. Going to the cinema and seeing all these different types of Dragon Ball Z fans put a massive smile on my face, and at the end of the day, that's all you can really ask for. And if I had to give this movie a rating out of 10, I'm not going to be super analytical, for me it was a great experience and it was fantastic. I would give this movie a solid 9.5 out of 10. Obviously the movie has some flaws and plot holes, but to me it didn't matter. In the end seeing Goku, Vegeta, Whis, Beerus, Gohan, Bulma made up for all the plot holes, inconsistencies and everything that could have ruined the movie. So let me know if you saw this movie in theaters, because if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan and you haven't seen this movie, you are insane. So here's to the future of Dragon Ball Z and as always, I will see you in the next Dragon Ball Z video.